That is my 4x4 multi-floor elevator. I got it working. I was combing through my laboratory looking for a number of projects. You see that? That was almost done. I had almost finished it, but not quite. And I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can throw something together. And I got it working. So I thought I would dissect it and I would show you how it works. So I have a tool for that now. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And there we go. So this is our 4x4 elevator. So let's take it apart. This is our standard elevator. You'll see that there's the main piston pair right here that go up and down. So there's four sections, and they're gonna be pushed by these three, which are gonna be set off by these two observers. And then this observer on the side is not only gonna cause it to go down, but it's also going to cause this to go up. This is one other one, and this is gonna put a signal through this block right here. And so if you look at it together, um, you'll see that there's a block right here that's gonna be powered, is going to cause these right here to fire when this signal is put in here and um, this is immediately going to push this over and then this will be powered as soon as it's in next to a block that'll power it so this will push this out and then it'll retract and that's enough time for it to stop and then over here this will push it back to the state that it was supposed to be in before so that is the bottom stopper the top stopper is right here this right here is going to send a redstone pulse and cause this to fire and then kick it back. What we do is we move this right as it needs to push up or down. And so you'll see that there are two paths, one coming from this way and one coming this way. And these repeaters are gonna stop it from back propagating over here and causing issues, but we don't have anything to stop it here, which is why we put a glass block because it can't go down the glass block. And so this section over here is going to send a signal at every single one of the pistons. Um, this is important if we need to go up, we hit those first. And then after a delay, this will be out of the way and be trying to move this back when we're trying to launch upward. And by the time that's out of the way, we've designed this so that there's only one row. So once this row is no longer attached, there's no rows in here. And that's going to give us the ability to continue on without any struggles. If we wanted to go down, well, that's quite easy because all we have to do is touch the bottom right here with this observer and it'll start going down. So I have a button right here, which is going to be sending the signal. And then up here, we will wait a while, and then as it's starting to pull the top, then this is going to send a signal up to the same thing that moves this out of the way. So that's the pieces. You've got the bottom stopper. You've got the top stopper that we move out of the way at convenient times. And then we have the go say hi to every piston launcher for when we need to go upward. All right, let's move on to the tutorial. So I thought we'd try some new shaders for this. So what you're going to do is you're going to dig down, start by placing blocks right here. And what you want to do is you want to place them so that they are underneath here. You want them to be right in the middle. They're right in the middle on the side. What we're going to do is we're going to build, most of our infrastructure is going to be built around this part in an L. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put this like this. This is going to go down. This is going to go up. We're going to have our observer facing like this. We're going to have a sticky piston on top. And then for this one down, we're going to have the observer looking this way. And we're going to add one more observer over here that's going to be helpful for sending a signal later. Now, put your observers underneath here. They're going to be facing down like that. And then you have three more pistons like so. Ah, here we go. And that's going to be our layer. We're going to have right here is where we're going to place our blocks. We want to do alternating between honey and slime. And this is going to be a four by four. So we're going to do it like this. And we're going to have three blocks underneath. They need to add up to 12. So what we need to do is do that because when we put these blocks on top to make the top, it's going to add four to each of them. And so now that's 11. And that's 12, and that's 12, and that's 12. And this one needs one more, so we're gonna put one right there. So to power it, what we're gonna do is we're going to send a signal to all of these, and then right after, we're gonna hit the bottom one. And so what I wanna do is I wanna put some redstone like this down, and we're gonna have some regular pistons. I mean, you can use sticky pistons if you want, but uh, they don't have to be sticky. We're going to actually send a signal like this by pushing these pistons forward because if we were to run some redstone dust under here, um, this observer would power this slime block, which is going to power it, and we don't want that. And we can't switch this out for honey or anything because that's going to be a not getting the signal. So we can do that. That'll be fine. 
And um, this will be safe because there's enough blocks so it can't push up. So I'm going to put this here right now. And I'm going to want it to be four ticks because I am going to have a one tick delay here. And because we need to do that, we're going to have a one tick delay here as well. And that should be it. Sorry, what I meant to say is we need to put it like this. There we go. That's the one tick delay. Because we want this to be just a brief pulse. And so that should do it. Now I recommend you use Obsidian to stop it, just so that it can't move under any circumstances while you're working on it. And what I want you to do is put one of the exterior blocks on each of these, because we're going to have an observer that's facing into every single one of them. Like this. This, this, and this. Our stopper is going to be really simple. It's going to be these blocks. They cause it to stop. And if we put a piston right here, it'll push them. We have a piston to push them back right here. And then we send a signal when we see them move, like that and that. And we put another block here. That'll send around and put them back. And then we will just have a signal input right here that sends into that block. So now watch. Bub up. Bub up. Now going down is going to be the easiest thing to do. We are going to be detecting a signal from here later that's going to be coming out right here in order for the topic going down. And in order to not interfere with that signal coming out here, we're going to actually put a repeater here so that we don't have any issues, if that makes sense. So we're going to have this here. And all we've got to do is have a six tick delay. So I'm going to do, just so that it's sane, is we're going to do this. One, two, three, one, two, three. We'll have redstone come down like this. And there we go. So we're going to need one more tick because we have this extra delay here. And so let's go something like that. That's fine. And that'll do it. And so we could put our incoming signal from whatever um, button is going to be right here. So if we have this right here, what this will do is make it go down. And so all we need to do is move this out of the way, and it'll send it down. Look at that. Magic! So let me put the blocks around the edge here for a minute so that we can see what it's going to look like and have our exterior walls. It's going to make this easier for us. They are much better. And we're going to have a 15 block limit here that we're going to be hitting because we need to get all the way to all these at the same time. So we're going to have to spread these really thin. We're going to come through here. And we're actually going to have to run out. So what I recommend doing is you put some blocks along here. It doesn't matter what block you use at this point. We just need to have clay terracotta touching the thing. And we're going to put a repeater right here. And that one tick repeater. And we were going to send a signal. It's going to come down like this. And we want to come down with some glass here. So let's go glass. And then... Put our redstone dust on that. And we can have our button, our signal, come in somewhere on here. So this will be where our like where our signal comes in. And then what we'll do is we'll wrap this around to right here. So now, because we're coming in from it close, we got in all the way over to here so that it can reach around. So if we came to here, we're going to do the five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. It wouldn't make it quite all the way. And by coming in really close, you'll be able to reach all six of them. And I say six, but we're not actually reaching every single one of them. It's really just five. And we need to reach this one. And so we're going to put a repeater on it, like so. And this one's going to be set to three ticks, because this is the final one launcher. It goes three ticks later than the rest of them. So that doesn't actually matter. You can just do that. Now, as for the stopper on the bottom, what we want to do is we want to stop this one right here with a piston. It's going to go boom and push. So what we want to do is we want to have this come over, push, and then go back. And so we're going to have this piston that pushes right here, and it's going to push this series right here that is blocking off. And then over here, we're going to have a gap, and then we're going to push it back whenever we detect anything. Actually, we're not going to detect anything. We're going to det detect up here with these two. But here, we're just going to do raw timings. What I mean by raw timings is we need to wait a while. And the while we're going to wait is we're going to come like this. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm going to wait a long time. And I'm going to get some observers. 
I go one, two, three, four, and we'll just power it at this point in time. So there's a long delay there, you'll see. Over on the other side, you remember, it's this block right here that we're powering with this redstone dust here. I want you to set this to four ticks right here. So we're actually going to need to break this out. That's okay. So right here, we're going to put a repeater right here that goes one, two, three, four. And that's where we're going to run the signal there. So make sure you put this back the way it was so that can hook up. And we don't want to power it when it's right here. We want to power it when it's right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to avoid it like that. We're going to go all the way around. So from there to here, all the way around. And then as it moves into where there's a signal, it'll connect. Now do these touch. You need to check this because if this is touching, you're going to have a bad day. It doesn't ma super matter where you put things, but you need to make sure that things are not touching. You don't cross your wires. There we go. So now... If we have this coming down, it should stop. I'm going to put the top on like so. This could be a, whatever color of clear terracotta or obsidian that you want. It just needs to be something that can be pulled. People often use furnaces or something else. Now let's see if it goes up. So if we have this signal sent from right here, what it should do is it should go around and have this move back and forth at the right time, even if it's just resetting. It won't be able to detect anything. This right here is a problem. Um, we need to come down like this. That way we're not looping. So you see how that goes around. And then that's going to hit this one, these two, and this one all at the same time. And then three ticks later, we're going to say time to launch. Let's go. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Goes up. But does it go down? So if we did this correctly, um, when it comes down, it's going to send a signal out this wall. And it's going to, I'm going to move this one so we're not cheating. And we're going to push this piston over and kick it out. Um, if we did it correctly, it's going to look something like this. We're going to send a signal right here. You ready? You see that? Ta-da! All right, time to do some magic. And I'm not going to show how to do a custom top because this is the same thing you want to build for the top. You just don't want to do the up mechanisms. So you don't need to stop it going down. You don't need to put one of these on the bottom. And you don't need an up button. Look at that. Post in the comments what you thought of this video. Um, let me know if you want to see any bigger ones, if you think we can accomplish anything crazier. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks to my patrons. We've got a mining board video, some other really cool stuff coming in soon. So stay tuned to the channel.